Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I hope y'all are having a great evening. I'm your host Steph and today I'm going to be showing you how to make creamy enchiladas rojas. This is a super easy recipe. Now let's go over the ingredients. Well, you can't have enchiladas without some delicious corn tortillas, and you're going to need 12 to 14 corn tortillas. One pound of Chihuahua melty cheese. For your enchilada sauce today, you're going to need eight soaked guajillo chilies. Make sure to remove the stems and the seeds. 15 ounces of Mexican crema, or you can substitute it with some sour cream. Half a cup of heavy whipping cream, or you can substitute it with some half and half. For those of you that love spice, I suggest you use tres chiles de árbol. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of Mexican oregano, and one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon. For your seasoned beef, you're gonna need 1.5 pounds of ground beef. And to season our ground beef, I have half a chopped onion, two garlic cloves, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of tomato chicken bouillon. To your pan, you want to add your onion and your garlic and continue to cook for two minutes. After two minutes, you're going to add your ground beef and start breaking down your beef. Now you want to add your seasoning, and if you don't want to use this seasoning, you can use your taco seasoning for this. Ooh, I know that made somebody happy. This taco seasoning recipe is excellent. It really is. I've received a lot of compliments on it, so I'm glad it's working for you guys. We're cooking on a medium heat now. We're gonna continue to cook until you see that there is no pink in your ground beef. And while that's going on, I'm gonna start warming up our tortillas. You can warm up your tortillas in the microwave, but if I have the capabilities of warming them up on a pan, I do. This is gonna make our tortillas nice and pliable when it's time to roll our enchiladas and any excess moisture gets removed. Another thing I wanted to share with you is if you have hearty eaters at home that are complaining that there's not enough protein, you know who I'm talking about. Esos hombres barrigones deliciosos. That's who I'm talking about. Don't crumble it up too much so that when they bite their enchilada, they get a big beefy bite. And today, I'm feeling like a mujer barrigona. Saludos. Go ahead and turn your burner off because our ground beef is full of itself. It's full of flavor and fully cooked. And now that we have all of this set, it's time to go get started on our sauce. To your blender, you want to add your chiles. I also soaked our chiles de árbol. Super, super delicious. Don't look at me like that. I know we had this sauce uh, last week, but talk to Cloud about it. She's obsessed with it. You can really mix it with any kind of Mexican crema. It doesn't have to be the sour cream. And if you don't have anything, you can use half and half or fully use your heavy whipping cream. Add your heavy whipping cream, chicken bouillon, Going heavy on the Mexican oregano today because it's good for your health and your lungs. Hey. Ground cumin, and if you're gonna cry about it, skip it. I don't want you complaining, just skip it, you don't need it. But if you love it, go ahead and add it. Garlic powder. You're gonna add about one fourth of a cup of your chili water. And now we're gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done. Come take a look at the consistency. That's the consistency we're looking for. Pour a little bit of sauce at the bottom of your baking dish. Hey, save that spoon for me. <laughs> this spoon? You're gonna lick it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, uh, one of our most popular enchilada videos uh, is me assembling the enchiladas. You really have to set yourself up to make it an easy process and easier for you to clean up too. That drawer behind you is open too. Which one? <laughs> Everything's open today. <laughs> See, set yourself up. Take your tortilla, add a little bit of Cloud's favorite sauce, desired amount of ground beef, and cheese it up. Don't be shy, son enchiladas. And that's simple, you have your enchiladas ready. I'm gonna continue with the remaining enchiladas. Hang tight. Was that enough sauce for you? Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, listen to her. She has something to tell you. <laughs> this is your Tia Cloud and you want to preheat your oven at 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you roll up your enchiladas, you're gonna add your sauce. Make sure to cover all your edges because that's what dries out first. 
Whoa, this is the first time I ever see any stain anywhere while you're making enchiladas. Right there. That's okay. I'm getting old, Cloud. <laughs> I'm getting old. Somebody's asking me if I'm pregnant. No, I'm not. Don't start spreading rumors. I just eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and place your cheese right on the top. And now you want to bake your creamy enchiladas rojas at 380 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Once you see your cheese bubbling and melty, that means it's time for you to take it out. It's a beep beady bow. And for those of you that don't have a baking dish, that's okay. You can use your baking sheet and this works great. You just use a little bit less sauce, but you can still get the job done. I know those new homemakers, or if you just moved out on your own, you don't have access to a lot of things that you end up accumulating over the years. So don't feel limited, you got this. And boom done, our enchiladas are ready. Something about that bubbling just makes me so happy. Who's ready for a cheesy bite? And I'm gonna pair these delicious enchiladas with some refried beans. I'll leave recipes for the refried beans and also for our rice. I'm using, oh, I went heavy on the beans today. <laughs> I'm using the rice recipe that I showed you how to make on the casserole and I'll link that uh, in the description area as well. Or you can click on it here at the end. We're almost done. Let me show you how I like to enjoy these enchiladas. Take some of your extra sauce and just place it right here at the edge. A little bit of lettuce, sour cream. Don't look at me like that. It's an American thing and it just works. I promise you. I've been eating very spicy, so you can't miss out on some chiltepines. That is red gold. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh, well, Cloud can't focus because it's this sauce that's her absolute favorite, so please forgive her. <laughs> <laughs> now you're thinking, now yes, you're back. Sorry. Welcome back. This is for Cloud, you guys. God, I can't hold this camera much longer. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Que rico. Cool girl, thank you. Well, this beautiful plate is for Cloud. She approved. Uh, please come back and let us know what you guys think about this recipe. It's absolutely delicious and you definitely need to add it to your rotation. I'm going to start serving the rest of my family and I hope you guys have a lovely fall season. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope you love this easy recipe and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.